Welcome to Sazzle Chat. As you guys know, stickers have been on our platform for many, many years. It's one of the original products that we launched, and it's always been a top product. Designers love it, customers love it, and today we're announcing that we are introducing new stickers. And to help me introduce them is Kyle. Before I get into exactly what they are, let's, Kyle, what do you do here at Zazzle? Uh, so I'm a software engineer. I specialize in image processing. I help a lot with making sure that designs that users are making are processed in a way that reflects how they will actually look uh, when they come out on your product out of manufacturing, um, dealing with a lot of the constraints of different manufacturing techniques. That's super cool. And I know you have a background in visual search and object recognition. Can you explain that a little? Uh, yes. I've, um, worked at oh man, probably about uh, eight different uh, companies, most of them startups much smaller than Zazzle uh, in my time in the Bay Area, um, always in a you know, sort of computer vision, image processing role, helping computers understand what they're looking at. Uh, so I've done a lot of things where you know, uh, someone uh, sees some product and wants to find similar products, and they just want to be able to send that picture of a product and get back stuff that looks similar. Uh, I've worked with a lot of companies uh, dealing with um, like movie editing, so editing a whole bunch of images and videos together into a movie that you want to make and applying special effects. So uh, anything in that sort of understanding images and graphical stuff to put images together space, I've done it. And I know you are a uh, artist yourself as well. Yeah, uh, that's sort of what got me into computer vision and image processing is I like programming, but I also really liked art. And in fact, I am a caricature artist and uh, still do a lot of uh, work at that in my uh, kind of downtime today. And uh, yeah, I was really excited when I joined Zazzle about getting to work for a company that helps artists you know, uh, make income doing what they love. That is literally what our designers like to hear. They like to make income and they're also very passionate about what they design. So you are a perfect fit at Zazzle. I've felt like that so far. <laughs> so that being said, really quick, what is your favorite product at Zazzle before we jump into things? Uh, well, the favorite specific product that I've ever made was uh, the shirts for the Zazzle Christmas Relays team. This was uh, another passion of mine is long distance running. And awesome. my running team uh, organizes this uh, annual race around Lake Merced called the Christmas Relays. Um, and there's a corporate division, so I got nice. uh, managed to yeah, drag three other people at Zazzle uh, into <laughs> joining this team with me, uh, and we placed uh, fourth place overall. Awesome. And we oh, and we got these shirts made. That's custom Zazzle shirts. Christmas really, and it's really cool. <laughs> awesome. So let's talk about stickers. We've had stickers on the platform since the beginning. It's always been a top product, but we've had restrictions. I.e., you've had to design within a template. And we've had different shapes, you know, stars, heart, circles, rectangle, but you've had to design within those shapes. What Kyle has been working on and Kyle's technology has enabled us to draw outside the lines in a sense. For example, I'm going to show you our sticker sheet. And as you can see, there's many different shapes on this one sheet, and it's actually based on the image itself. So before we kind of talk more about the stickers, why don't you give us a history of how your work came about? Sure. So when I started at Zazzle about six months ago, I was working on uh, what we call our custom cut uh, vinyl decals that uh, you know, is a process where we're both printing and then we're cutting a shape out. So let me just interject. So that is our backpacks, our bagus, a lot of soft shape goods that you've already known about for years. And Kyle's working on improving that process to make those cuts even tighter and it, for them to look even better on the products. Yeah. So when designers are using this, they're uploading artwork that has uh, you know, some type of transparency or it has you know, some not just rectangular shape to it. Uh, and they want uh, that to actually be cut out. Uh, so that you don't have a bunch of this, you know, excess, essentially blank printing material uh, being stuck onto your product. Uh, so since we built this, you know, technology that then had all of those decals looking a lot nicer, we then wanted to apply that to stickers. 
Uh, so rather than just having these sort of pre-cut uh, shapes that someone can fill in, we wanted to have the same ability that whatever artwork you put on this, we figure out the actual boundaries of it. Uh, and you know, the work that I do has to do with understanding the limits of the manufacturing process. This is an actual physical little arm that has to go and cut all of these shapes out. So it can only do something that's you know, so small, something that's so narrow, and do so tight a yeah. corner. Uh, so a lot of the work that I do is making sure that designers will see, uh, you know, within the design tool and all of the product views, what it's actually going to look like based on, you know, what the machine can actually produce. Yeah, and, and being an on-demand platform, I mean, these kind of stickers aren't new to the marketplace by any means, but um, a lot of times they're huge runs and uh, a company orders a couple hundred thousand and then an artist or an engineer kind of goes in and specifies the lines. Um, by being an on-demand platform, we essentially have to do it, be able to do it one off and Kyle's technology um, allows us to, when you guys design just one ice cream cone, for example, it will detect where you design and be able to hug its curve in a sense and cut out around that which is so cool and allows and just allows you guys to be able to design so much more and enables you to create something so creative um, with something as simple as stickers so we're really excited by this technology yeah. um, so uh, can you give us a little more context to how it actually works sure uh so a uh, user will have artwork that you know, could be like a PNG format where the image file actually has transparency, uh, or you can just use uh, whites in the image that you're uploading as being you know, what's transparent. So it, it can't have a background because otherwise the technology doesn't work. Well, yeah, if you were to put a background on this, then you would just have, you know, a rectangle. Again. So that is one limitation. <laughs> yes, yeah. So this is assuming, you know, uh, obviously we have two different offerings. We have like a matte, uh, like white uh, material, or we have a clear material. So you're always working with either something that's going to be white or transparent yeah. as, you know, it's sort of like background base. Uh, and then, yeah, you know, you can put your artwork onto this. Uh, we currently are saying that you can have uh, as many as 30 different, uh, you know, uh, separate objects that are within one sticker. And can you talk about why we only actually offer 30 objects? Yes, because uh, the process that we use uh, is a physical uh, mechanical arm with a little cutting tool at the end that has to go and trace out uh, all of the objects that are actually going to be, you know, cut out and liftable off of the sticker sheet. So we can't have, you know, uh, a thousand different tiny little dot sized uh, stickers because that cutting arm would be working all day. So yeah. <laughs> we needed a balance in terms of the actual time it would take to cut out shapes. And just so you know, this is going to be the largest size we offer. Um, and so the 30 um, won't really be an issue on the smallest size we offer. But just so you know, you can only have 30 individual objects on. That's a maximum number of shapes. Correct, yeah. Okay, so it goes in once you upload your image and it goes and individually cuts out each image. Yes. And then at the bottom, we also have some branding that will be there, um, but it won't cut into any of your design space. So don't worry about that. Um, really quick, what was the biggest challenge that, from an engineering perspective that you had while developing this technology? Uh, one of the biggest challenges came from the concern that we wanted to make sure that when someone is using the design tool uh, in as close to real time as possible, they would be able to see uh, how much kind of a, of a border around uh, their artwork uh, will be cut out. Um, it's very important because if you're uh, you know, putting multiple objects on this or if you have uh, just one image that sort of has multiple uh, you know, pieces to it, you really want to know, are those all going to get joined into one sticker or are they going to be separate stickers? You know, because we can yeah. cut out these shapes, if you upload one image file that has multiple shapes in it, that might become multiple stickers. Uh, it all um, you know, essentially comes down to the, uh, like the bleed area, like how, how far around each object we have to go. Um, so I think it's an important uh, consideration for the designers when they're using this. Pay attention in that design tool so you know 
uh, you know, are you going to get one sticker out of this or, or multiple? Um, and you can always uh, use the drawing tools even in the design editor to uh, connect objects by drawing something underneath them that connects them. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Cool. So uh, the tech's really cool. Let's talk to them and tell them what the product basics are. Sure. So this, like I said, is the largest size, if you don't mind holding that up. This is going to be, that's the extra large. This is the large. Here's the medium, the small, and then the extra small. So there, there will ultimately be five sizes. Um, and again, you can design each sheet. You can design multiple or just one sticker per sheet. Um, and you mentioned this earlier, but there's a white substrate and a transparent substrate. Yeah. So this is the white substrate. Uh, just please note that both substrates, or neither substrate in this case, print white. So if you're using a white substrate, because the background's white, it looks like it print white, but it's just white. And then on our transparent substrates, for example, you might notice my beautiful laptop sticker here. It's a transparent background. And again, no white is printed. So just know that when you're designing. It's important in considering uh, what types of things you think that your customers will want to be putting the stickers on to. Uh, if you're applying the sticker to something that is, you know, close to white or, you know, mm -hmm. brightly colored, uh, then you can feel more free to go with the transparent option um, since, you know, there will be something brighter behind it so it'll still stand out a lot. But if you want something that's going to go on something dark, like maybe like a darkly tinted like car window or something, it's probably better to use the matte white option uh, so that it is more vibrant and can stand out more. Yeah, so the white makes it pop a little more, the, the transparency is more subtle. Take a look at the design tool. I think our design tool does a good job of showing both substrates so you guys can take that into consideration. Um, and some of the design tips, let's just quickly walk through. Um, we, you can create, uh, obviously, more than one sticker per sheet. Um, use transparent images with transparency and i think kyle explained why that needs to happen um, again maximum of 30 stickers per sheet so it will print addition the actual design it just you're gonna have to get scissors and manually cut it out after 30 images yes if yeah if you're um, putting more than 30 uh separate objects on on your thing we will only cut out the 30 largest uh so Anything smaller than that, you know, will be part of you know all of the other background you know sheet material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you can either use it for that if that was what you wanted, or uh, yeah, um, cut it out yourself. And then yes, and then again, no white ink. So again, take that into consideration. And some of the use cases for stickers, much like our other stickers, but you know, electronics, laptops, phone, tablets. Um, we're seeing a lot more hard case luggages, um, a lot of stickers. Um, water bottles, notebooks, kids related stuff, lockers, guitar cases, like those are just some of the ideas that we had. I'm sure you guys have many more ideas. We are so excited to get these out. Um, it's a lot of technology that goes into something as seemingly simple as stickers, but we're so excited to be launching these. Um, we'll have additional guidelines and um, keywords uh, when we on the forums, so take a look at that when we do post it. And we are so excited to launch. And thank you for Kyle, to Kyle, for joining us today. <laughs> well, thank um, you for having me. And we're excited for you guys to play with stickers. <laughs>